Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So let us take one more example for NPV. Uh, example number five. This question is a little bit different as compared to the previous one. From the following information, you can learn after tax and depreciation. Basically, it is mentioned tax. It is after tax, right? You can learn after tax and depreciation. It means the inflow of the project is after tax and depreciation. Okay, read the rest of the information. Initial outlay of the project or cost of the project is equal to amount of 1 lakh. Life of the project is 5 years. A scrap value is equal to amount of 10,000. Profit after tax for the project is equal to year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4. For year 1 this much, year 2, year 3, year 4 and year 5. But remember that our inflow or we can say our profitability in the project is in this level. It is after tax and depreciation. Basically, we need after tax but before depreciation. If it is after tax and depreciation, it means in this case also we need some sort of adjustment, right? So if we need adjustment, once again we have to draw our table and we have I have drawn the table already in this case, so no need to draw it, right? So it means once again for this example we need this formula. We have to make some adjustment. But before that, we have to check we are in which level. It is after tax and depreciation. We are after tax and depreciation. Profit after tax and depreciation, basically we are in this level. So we have to put our value in this one. So the previous steps are not required, so we are only in this. If you are in this level, you have to bring it in this one, make the following adjustment. If you are in this level, make the following adjustment. If you are in this level, just make only one adjustment and you can find out the info, right? So now let us check the inflow. How much is the inflow for year 1? Year 1, year 2, year 3 and so on. For year 1 it is equal to amount of 6,000. For year 2, for the second year it is amount of 14,000. For the next year it is amount of 24,000. And for the year it is amount of 16,000. And for the last year it is amount of only this much. And after this, of course, we have to find out the next step. We have to add the depreciation. And as you can see, the depreciation is not given here in the question that is straightforward. So we have to find out the depreciation. How to find out the depreciation? So you can say depreciation in the project is equal to is equal to what? Equal to cost of the project if there is any scrap value minus the scrap value divided by life of the project, right? So this was the formula basically. The precision equal to cost of the asset minus scrap value divided by life of the asset, right? How we can find out this one? See the cost of the asset. Cost of asset is equal to how much? Amount of 1 lakh, right? Minus. How much is scrap value? A scrap value is equal to amount of 10,000. Minus 10,000 divided by how much is life of the project? Life of the project is just equal to amount of 5. If you do that one, so you can find out the scrap, the salve, sorry, the depreciation value. How much depreciation should be charged annually? So amount of eighteen thousand should be charged as well as depreciation. Once again, how to find out depreciation? If there is a scrap value, cost minus a scrap divided by life, so it is equal to amount of eighteen thousand. So put the value of depreciation here in t thousand, sorry, eighteen thousand for the first year, eighteen thousand for the second year. 18,000 for the third year as well as for the next, next, and so on. This is so 18,000 for the last year as well. Now we have to add it. If you add it, you get 24,000 for the first one. For the second one, you get 32,000, right? So 32,000 for the next one. If you add for the next one, you get equal to 24 plus 18 become equal to so it became 20, 42,000, right? So 42,000 for the next year. If you add for the next year, again, it became 34. It became 34, if I'm not. And if you add for the next year, it just only amount of 18,000, right? So 18,000 is the amount. So this is basically the inflow of the project. So based on this one, now you can find out the present value of inflow of the project. Now let us find out. So present, write down, present 
value of inflow. Present value of inflows are equal to as how much. Find out present value for the first year. How much is present value? How much is the inflow? Inflow is equal to 24,000. 24,000 divided by how much is the cost of capital? Cost of the capital might be given. Uh, as you can see in this example, cost of capital is basically missing here. So I forgot to mention cost of capital as well. So let us say, for example, the cost of capital, cost of capital, right? Cost of capital is, let us say, for example, amount of 10%. Cost of capital is equal to amount of, let us say, 10%. So 10% is, let us say, cost of capital. How much cost of capital? We assume as this one as should be a 10%. So if it is 10%, so just put the value of 10% here. Present value of inflow divided by 24,000 divided by 1.1 into power of 1. Power of 1 is just equal to 1, right? So just press the sign, you get the amount. Second year as well, you can find out the present value in the same way. 32,000 divided by 1.1 into power of 2, right? Equal sign, you get the amount. Third year as well, you can do 42,000 divided by 1.1 into power of 3, right? So the same thing which we have done for the previous example, you can do for this one <coughs> as well. Press equal sign, you get some balance. And of course, you can do it for the fourth year as well. How much is the inflow for the fourth year? 34,000, right? 34,000 divided by 1.1 in the power of 4. Equal sign, you get this one. And the same case for the last year, 18,000 divided by 1.1 in the power of 5. Press the sign, press the equal sign, you get some balance. This is the balance, right? So this is the amount that we got for this one. Now let us find out the total of all these inflows. Total of inflows. Inflows. How much is the total of inflows? Just equal the press the sign, you get some inflow from there. This is, or let me find out the inflow basically below, right? So let me clean this part. Let me find out the inflow basically here itself. How much is the inflow of the project, right? Find out. How much is the inflow for the first year? This is the inflow for the first year. This balance plus the other balance. Balance for the second year. This is balance for the second year. I think I made a, a little bit. No, no, it is fine, right? Okay. I made a little bit mistake. So, okay. I have to take the inflow for the second year. This is inflow for the second year. Yes, okay, fine. And then plus the inflow for the third year. How much is the inflow for the third year? This is the inflow for the third year. And this balance. So let me increase the size in this case. Plus inflow for the fourth year. This is the inflow for the fourth year. Inflow for the fourth year is this much, plus inflow in the last year, or we can say in the first year. Inflow in the last year, right? Press the balance. Press the equal sign, you get some inflow. How much is the total inflow of this project? Total inflow of the project is equal to amount of amount of one hundred fourteen thousand two hundred eighty, right? One hundred forty thousand two hundred eighty. You find. 72.53. This is the inflow of the project. So from this inflow, you can find out, you can minus the outflow of the project, right? And outflow is already clear for us. You can mention the present value, present value of outflow. Present value of outflow. How much is present value of outflow? Present value of outflow is already given in the question, which is equal to amount of how much? Amount of 1 lakh, right? So you can mention it, amount of 1 lakh in the project. So now you can find out the NPV. The NPV for this project is equal to. From inflow minus amount of outflow. How much is inflow? You can mention the inflow. 
from inflow we have to minus the outflow minus outflow how much is outflow outflow is amount of just one way press the equal sign you get the difference whatever is the amount that can be called of what as a as a NP so let me take it with another color so let it say for example it should be with this color so this amount can be called as present value of the NPV, present value, uh, net present value of the project. So in this example, what we have done, if you can see here, we basically have the inflow in this level, the profit after tax and depreciation, and we made only one type of adjustment, that was depreciation, right? So only depreciation is added back once again. And if you remember, if you see basically while calculating depreciation, we have we have adjusted the depreciation. We have adjusted the scrap value, or we can say we minus the scrap value. If you minus the scrap value, or if you adjust the scrap value at the time of calculating depreciation, so no need to add it with the inflow of the last year. No need to in add with the inflow of the last year. But in the previous example, if you remember, we have added the scrap value with the inflow of the last year that is only possible if there is no adjustments of a scrap at the time of calculating the precision but if you add or if you adjust sorry if you adjust the scrap value at the time of calculating the precision this scrap value will not be added with the inflow of the last year so this is the uh, the npv as it is positive you can say this project should be a